Honey Comb Textbook in English for class 7 page 111 Notes for the teacher Units 8 to 10 Fire Friend and foe Natural phenomenon Fire is both friend and enemy An informative piece about a potential hazard that can easily be prevented The point that the simple present tense signifies habitual or repeated actions rather than the present time needs reiteration and further practice built on activity 1 under working with language and design two or three additional tasks this will be interesting to show simple present in contrast with present continuous I walk to school every morning. Today I am taking a bus. We have our morning assembly before the first hour, but today we are attending a special program instead on health and hygiene. The writing activity as after the ashes that made trees bloom is for further practice in language analysis. Read aloud the news item in the box at the end of the lesson. Ask children to find other news items or headlines on a specified theme. Display some on the class bulletin board. Meadow surprises. Let children find pictures of a butterfly and other insects or birds, a buttercup and other flowers that they know. a rabbit and or a running brook and arrange the pictures in a patchwork design of their choice activity 4 can be taken up as a mini project involve groups of children in doing it the paragraphs or poems written at the end of the week may be put up on the class bulletin board page 112 encourage children to share with their peers any interesting surprise that they may have come across a bicycle in good repair humor exaggerated details of a common place event pleasure ride on a bicycle that never takes off though numerous unexpected things happen in the process short notes on modal auxiliaries are given preceding three exercises under working with language these may be suitably expanded if necessary however the skill to use modals appropriately in contexts should receive primary focus in preference over out of context explanations activity 4 on n e n as prefix suffix or as part of the word should be completed in more than one session one period may be devoted to each part including intermittent queries and explanations and the writing work involved garden snake recite the poem with correct pauses draw children's attention to the following one that snake in the grass reported me to the headmistress does snake refer to snake in the meadow or grass or to a trickacious person who pretends to be a friend a snake in the grass is an idiom two snake can be used as a verb the road snakes its way through the mountains follows a twisting winding course the river snaked away into the distance moving like a snake disappeared 3 snaky like a snake the snaky movements of the young dancers the narrow snaky paths through the hill page 113 the story of cricket games and sport the story of cricket 
told in a historical perspective the continuity of the game down the ages and its emergence as the most popular modern sport and entertainment though the text is rather long and challenging the content is exciting enough to work well in class most children know something about the game including names of players or teams and will show enthusiasm for the story of cricket photographs given will enhance their interest in the lesson no time need be expended on memorization or recall of dates or years names of places and clubs measurements etc additional sectioning of parts and designing of while reading comprehension checks as suggested elsewhere will be of special use here word search clues to be explained at length before the activities attempted another word search for games related words and phrases can be easily prepared in class honeycomb you were just listening to this audiobook production assistance meenakshi kukreti and jagbandhu jana recorded by batilang lingdo technical assistance somya malik produced by ajit horo and presented by cit ncert new delhi india